you should just shut up and let things be handled by people who are intelligent enough not to bring the Bible into politics. You just, you can't do it. You can't have it. You can't play with it. can't win with it. You can't have it. Just like Jinx does on uh, the Young Turks. It just makes me so fucking crazy now that I've gotten so much of myself invested in this. And I want to make a lot more videos on this. I want to be much more active on YouTube. But I just get so sick of all this Republican bullshit. And, you know, there are some Democrats that are way too conservative, like uh, Rahm Emanuel, that, you know, or Joe Lieberman, that I believe are, are you know, Republicans that, you know, kind of like closeted Republicans that are just Democrat because they don't want to have the Republican name tag, but they want to share the Republican views. But I don't want to, you know, get too much into politics right now. I want to stick to the thing, because I didn't write down my notes like I usually do, so I've totally lost where I am. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore other than the topic. So what I think we should do is just make it a federal thing get it over once and for all like a band-aid, just rip it off. I think that we should uh, make marriage, you know, just have like one federal court case, person that actually knows the Constitution, and know that, yeah, I definitely think that we should def redefine marriage, because we've done it in the, fa in the past, first of all. We have redefined it, because at one time, only two white rich people could get married. You couldn't get married if you were in debt. Then there was a time where black people couldn't marry white people. We redefined it again, Virginia versus Loving, and now it's time to do the final redefinition where we make it that uh, neither sex, color, ethnicity, sexual orientation, whatever, doesn't matter. As long as it's, I think it should just be two consenting adults entering into a contract. That's what it is, and that's what it should be. It shouldn't have any... Um, sexual preference, orientation, what the hell ever. It should just be two adults entering into a union. And we just, it makes me so angry when other straight people aren't as upset as I am because that's part of being an American is that you stand up for other Americans, that we stand up for values that we hold and we share. And you can have your religion. And if you don't, if you don't support gay marriage because of your religion, then don't be a fucking hypocrite. Shut your fucking mouth and go to church. Don't come with your fucking Bible and hold protests in places like Washington, D.C. when they legalize gay marriage. Because, and by the way, speak, speaking of gay marriage, I want to bring up one point. Prop 8 in California, I honestly think that was the best thing that could have happened. And this is why. Because once Prop 8 happened and it overturned the rights taking, or overturned the vote taking rights from people in California, it just kind of, I don't know if you noticed this like I did, but it just seemed like all hell broke loose. And then we got like three or four more states that legalized gay marriage. And we got Jersey and New York talking about it. And so I want to see that happen everywhere. Here in Ohio, we have a ban on gay marriage and civil unions. Um, so I, I want to see that happen here in Ohio. I want to see it happen in places that are, you know, I want to see it happen everywhere, but I would love to see it happen at least near me. D.C. isn't that far away from me, but I would love to see it happen here in Ohio or West Virginia or Indiana or, you know, just I'd love to see it happen here. And I would love, I think it's going to be a long time before we get it in the Midwest, though, and the South. But I definitely think that the West Coast and the East Coast, or vice versa, East Coast, West. Damn it, I fucked it all up. <laughs> I'm not even going to point anymore. East Coast, West Coast, I definitely think it's what's going to happen first. And then I, eventually, probably the South and Midwest. Those seem like the most religious parts of the country. And religion can be a good thing in a lot of ways, but it can be like a fucking plague when it comes to certain things like gay marriage, for instance, um, which is really funny because you're not supposed to pass judgment on people. That's a sin, and there's no sin greater than another except for blasphemy, so you're passing judgment on a gay person is equal to that person fucking someone up the ass, so you might want to think about that, Christians. You might want to get your shit together 
like I said earlier, if you don't support gay marriage, shut the fuck up, take your Bible, go to church. Because it turns into a sin when you use that Bible. You, you know, you're, you're supposed to share your beliefs and you're supposed to do shit like that, but then when you are up on a fucking soapbox screaming you're going to hell and calling gay people faggots, that's when you turn it into judgment. That's when you turn it into bigotry. Believing it is one thing. Using it as hatred and using it to harm people, that's when it goes into bigotry. That's why we say you're a bigot. It's not because of your belief in Christ and not because you belief in God and not because your belief in the Bible. It's because when you take that verse, which is funny because you don't take any other verses that are a sin and make a big fucking deal out of it as you do gay marriage, like, for instance, um, adultery, uh, doing harmful things to your body like smoking and drinking and drugs, uh, eating bad foods because that's bad for your body. You're not supposed to harm your body. Your body is your temple, right? Anyway, uh, and then you don't, and then you say, well, when, when things are in the Old Testament, you just like, oh, well, that's, we don't, let, you know, we don't go by the Old Testament anymore. Well, the verses, the, the, like, three of the main verses on homosexuality is in the Old Testament. So why is it that when it comes to eating shellfish or having two uh, different fabrics in your clothing or having long hair or uh, touching the flesh of a pig or touching the dead body, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't take those sins literally anymore, but you take the homosexuality sins literally, literally, fuck it. Anyways, that's just wanted to talk about, and I want to get much more involved, and I am going to write down some notes and some bullet points and make a much better video. I just wanted to go off on a little bit of a uh, crazy, fucked up, out of order rant. But thank you if you watch this and you don't try to kill me after watching it. Thank you. Bye.